Right folks, I've just climbed up quite a steep hill in the heat and met, met two lovely ladies walkers and we were discussing how we how they enjoy re walking on their own and we were discussing it because they said oh I don't expect the way they passed me I said oh they said to me oh, oh it's alright I don't expect you like bumping into people and first of all I was thought are they being rude or and then they explained that they don't they like walking on their own as well. They call it the healers. So I've just climbed up quite a lot. Now I had to I've had to do plan B. It doesn't matter because I did Smith's Coombe. That was very important. Over there I did that. It took me a long time climbing up the Bicknola Coombe. Um, so instead of following the contours round, there's a path over there and it would normally go round and round and round. There's not time. I was surprised that three hours had gone. So I've had to make the decision to go back another route that I do take. Smith's Coombe, of course, is all down there and over to the trees there. I was very surprised that three hours had gone. Hinkley Point over there. Bristol Channel. Steep home. Breen down. And right in the distance, Sand Bay. Yeah. So what we do, we're, we're actually sort of heading back. But we're come back to do... As soon as the strikes are finished, or there's a chance to come over, I'll come over again. Uh, I can't fit it in. If I had the van, yeah, there'd be no problem. I just carry on at my own leisure. I did state that I was two hours less time. I knew that was going to be an issue. So I had a plan B. And the plan B was either not to do Smith's Coombe, either not do Smith's Coombe and do Wordsworth of Fox and House and Gardens and talk to the monks or do Smith's Coombe and don't do Wordsworth. There isn't time. I needed that other two hours. <coughs> so once again I can't do that bit for a while, unfortunately. It could be another time I can do Wordsworth and come up and go across another path and on further over on the other side over there. But for now, we're going this way. We're climbing up. It is getting hotter. Breathing's okay at the moment. And um, I'm very... I'm breathless, but I'm going uphill. But uh, basically, basically, I've got my hat on. It does make a difference, actually. I've got my sun hat on. Because this part of the walk is very, very exposed. And this, is, this isn't even a hot day. But believe me, I've done it on a hot day. Before now, I've forgotten hats. I've had to use a t-shirt. Or a jumper to put over my head when I've done that. So now I always make sure the hat's near the bag. Over and out. Right, these two sheep are showing me the way. I've got a feeling I picked up on a deer. I can't home in. This is the this is the biggest fault with this camera. Is that I'm trying to home in on um there's a sheep, right? And then just over a bit. I don't know if that's it. There's some sort of animal there. I 
got a feeling that's a deer. I have taken some pictures. I'm not quite sure if that is it though. Or if, if, or if it's moved. Maybe that ain't it. Maybe that's it. Very hard with this camera. You need just this way you have to have the tripod, you see. So if you pick up on the sheep, which is there, there's the sheep. Oh, there it is. There's this thing. Look. I think that's a deer. Yeah, I think it is. I've I've done enough of that. Yeah, this is quite a clear path. The trig point's right over there in the distance. Right over there the trig point is. There's the trees for the Smith's Coombe there. Those trees over there, and there's somebody walking over there as well. Those trees lead you down to, are part of Old Fox and Park. And they'll lead you down to Old Fox and House and Wordsworth's old place with the walled garden and the Buddhist monks. These sheep have taken me on board, but I'm going to be heading over that way. I can see a path going that way. I'll be going that way. Or even over there, because that's the direction I've got to go. There wouldn't have been time for me to have done the contours. No way. There wouldn't have been time today. I feel a bit disappointed because that was on my plan. But I did know that I really needed those two hours. You need to be out here at eight, and nine, eight or nine in the morning to get that particular circular done, which is what I've done, coming down through Smith's Coombe. I'm already quite a way off, but I don't mind getting the later bus, but I do want to know I can get it. I can reach it. If I'd gone over to Holford now, I would have had to have rushed doing Wordsworth and, and, and everything. And I would have been rushing to get to Holford it would have been far too much. And I did know that in the back of my mind. But the first part of the walk was brilliant. I didn't think about time. I knew I would have to check my watch. Now, fortunately for me, coming this way, I've just seen a group of about 20 people in the herd over there. I could have bumped right into that lot. I could have bumped right into them. Bye sheepies! Bye sheepies! So this is Sheila on the 14th of June 2022. Now another thing, as I my walks go on, I tend to forget about holding the camera still. I get carried away. I'm swapping and swaying, you know, swaying and jumping and swaying. And the camera's coming here, there, and everywhere. So I'll just try and do a little bit of steady hold. It's not easy. It's uncomfortable for me. I have to hold my arms rigid. What we don't want is to reach a dead end. And that'd be awful. I know I've done this walk before. And I remember how exposed. This is one of the most exposed routes. I'm right in the middle of the moors, really, of the Quantocks. 
and it's fortunately there are some clouds and there's a breeze. Right over and out again.